two of the National Football League. And we'll get a look here at wideout A.J. Brown. It was a nice line for him a week ago, reaching the century mark and scoring a touchdown. It's the Eagles and the Giants, and it comes your way next on EA Sports. We are across the Hudson from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Today, after a topsy-turvy opening weekend, it's on to week two, and we've got a good one here, as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the New York Giants. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you take a look at this Giants ball club. They come in off a good win on the road, and now they hit the home opener at 1-0. And they looked awfully good last week and came away with a two-touchdown victory. They did have a few reasons for concern defensively, but all in all, they'll take a repeat here if they could get it. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Eagles, they too were winners last time out, so something's got to give here. And I love it when both teams come in off of wins. Great mindsets, and it usually leads to a really well-played game. Two teams here fresh off week one victories. Who can keep it going as we're underway on EA Sports? And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. The former number six overall pick of 2019, Daniel Jones, trots out to lead this New York Giants offense. I still remember when he was drafted, there was a little bit of controversy about how high he was selected by the New York Giants, but his talents were revealed. He can make every throw in the book. Surprisingly good athlete. As long as he takes care of the football and doesn't turn it over, he can really make plays. He finds some way to turn this into positive yardage as he struggles forward for a pickup of about two. A check on Jacobs from a week ago. 20 carries, 95 yards. And I'm eager to see how they deploy him in this game. Last week, a heavy workload. Do they decide to bring that down a little bit and try and keep him fresh? Or do they say, guess what? He's locked in. Keep handing him the football. And he powers his way up past the 30. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. You look at this Eagle defense, currently number one in the NFL against the run. And that's a ranking that feels good, right? To be number one and be the top of your profession. But here's the problem. It's only week one. One week, yeah. Can they do it 15 more times? If so, then we really got something to talk about. That's the challenge. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slam. Throwing Jones. Looking middle, and that's complete. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll make it second down. Well, this defense for the Eagles, terrific last week in the season opening victory. I have to admit, I was extremely impressed by what I saw on tape because they stayed in the face of the quarterback the entire game, ended up getting four sacks total, and made it difficult for him to step up and find receivers downfield. Also made it hard for him to escape the pocket and run. So certainly a defensive mistake here in the first quarter, getting hit with a roughing the passer call. And that hurts not just because of the yardage you gave up and give them a fresh set of downs, but that brought the home crowd into this one. And when you go on the road, your job is to silence the crowd, not energize them. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Now Jones. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Really good coverage all over the field. It took away his intended read and almost dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one. It doesn't connect. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 12-yard line. A nice pickup of 17 yards. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They'll run right here with Jacobs. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. 
when a drive goes this long, you have to give a lot of credit to the guys up front, those big fellas, because the offensive line is putting something together that allows them to continue. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. A great effort there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Giants get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Extra point up and good by Suckup. And it's now a 7-0 game. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was finished off by a touchdown by the New York Giants. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by a Heisman runner-up during his college days. It's the versatile Jalen Hurts. And he certainly had his share of struggles in the opener through a couple of ill-time interceptions in the game. So that was something that was harped upon all week in practice. Because if he's going to help this team be a winning one, he can't give the football away like he did last week. He finds his man complete. It's Franklin. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. Sometimes I think these defensive tackles get a little bit of a bum rap. We just see them as big guys that eat up blockers for others to make tackles. Oftentimes they're quicker than they get credit for. And this time he uses quickness to make a play. So here's a third and 14. Play action. Here's Hurts. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Take it on the midfield logo. That'll go as a punt of 32 yards. And the Giants will begin this drive in good shape. First and 10. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And he is going to lose yardage here. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. You look at this Eagle defense. They were very good in the win over Dallas a week ago. Have to admit, I was extremely impressed by what I saw. They ended up getting four sacks in the game, stayed in the face of the quarterback the entire time, made it difficult for him to step up and find receivers downfield. And that's what they told us this week, that pressure on the QB is key. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. To throw on third down, Jones. Is swing that out wide to Jacobs. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. On is Jake Bailey to send this one away. Britton Covey deep for Philadelphia. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. And early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra intrigue. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice. But at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. Hands it off out of the gun. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Ten yards there and an eagle first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. 
because remember the last drive they went three and out. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into giant territory. A look there at his numbers on the ground a week ago. Pretty good as he found himself in the end zone on two separate occasions. And those are the most important numbers because no matter what you pile up prior to the goal line, getting in is all that matters. Putting those numbers up on the board, and they love them when they're sixes. They get this to Smith on the jet sweep. Oh, this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Four yards the pick up, first down. Well, we've seen running backs in today's NFL get involved in the passing game. Maybe it's about time more receivers like that get involved in the running game. And that is something we are seeing more and more in this league, no question about it. That wasn't the biggest of gains, but it was enough to get them a first down. And it continues to test the defense. They have to think on every play about who might end up with the ball. Brandon, watching their tape from last week, I saw plenty of plays like we just saw there, forcing incompletions. It was key in their win last week. They're hoping the same thing happens this time out, too. Here's Hurts to throw. Open man is Goddard, the tight end. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third down, they're going to run for it here. That is not going to be any help as they dump it behind the line of scrimmage. And a loss of three to bring up four. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. The kick by Elliott is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell us end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. So now the Giants set to take over on offense. They were winners a week ago over the Steelers, and they lead this one as well as they start here first and 10. Over the middle, into the hands of Michael Thomas. He'll be dropped after a game of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Here's a handoff to Jacobs running left. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And Brandon, you know that expression, he just does what he does? <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. And he'll manage to break a tackle and get this forward for a couple. It'll be second down. Here's a second and eight. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Here's Jacobs from the gun. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. You've got to be impressed by that defensive crowd on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. Second down, Jacobs once more. And he'll fight 
right forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Now Jones on third down. He finds his man complete. It's Jacobs. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 36. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. Working with the lead, trying to get to 2-0. and Here's first and 10. Off the play fake. Jones. Same target. It's Jacobs again. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. He was unable to shake. Cover him for a loss of a yard. But looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. On second down, Jacobs. And a lot of talent on this Eagle defense, and you've seen it on these last two plays, both losses. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Jenkins. The ball comes out, and it's picked up by the Eagles. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to the positive side this time. Yeah, there was a fumble at the end of this one, but what a sustained drive. And if they keep stringing those together, you got to like their chances. And credit the defense, though. You're out there for that long. You start to get tired, but they were able to get the turnover. Did you just credit the defense? I like to credit the defense I'm, and the offense. I like you. And the analysts. That's perfect. Airing it out deep for Smith. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. They go play action with Hurts. Flushed out right. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a pickup of 12. Second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. Off the play fake. Here's Hertz. And it's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. Offense was moving it a little bit. Had them back on their heels, but they had a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Now they go screen. It's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 31-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Hurt sets up to throw it. And it's incomplete. Now a second and 10. Throwing his Hurts. He finds his tight end, Goddard, that's complete. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A really nice gain of 25 yards. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And it's caught. 
have taken the lead. Heck of a start to his season. He had two touchdowns in the opener last week. Another one here in week two. Well, I don't want to call him a touchdown machine this early, but sometimes you get locked in, you know, and you feel good about things. You get into that zone, and those touchdowns come in bunches. He may be off to that kind of a start. It's like he was shot out of a cannon. I would imagine success this early. Great momentum going forward for the rest of the year. He keeps this up. They'll soon be chanting MVP anytime he touches the ball. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The New York set to take the field. Last time out, remember they fumbled the football. That led to the touchdown. And Charles, they were in the red zone, so that's a backbreaker. They got to try to pick up the pieces here on this drive. Yeah, and I actually started to do the math here, so be patient with me. 12-point swing is the way I calculated because not only did they drop the ball in the red zone, they watched the opponent score a touchdown right after that. So their goal, have a drive here and try and get some of those points back. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Throwing on second and long. Jones looking for Thomas, but that's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter, been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Buying time to his left. And he stopped after a gain of one, not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. The Eagles gonna take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he is gonna have an Eagles first down. At least it appears that way. And he got it by maybe the length of a football. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Looking to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. And here you're down in the red zone. You need to be smart, not force anything. So that's a wise decision to just get rid of the football. Second and 10. They'll drop to throw. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. A great play there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Eagles would extend their lead here just before halftime. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it, that can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook. But even before that, let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. Elliott good on the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. So not much time to work with here. Nine seconds remain in the half as this one is away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And with only nine seconds remaining, with not much time, we'll see how they play this. Now Jones, he finds his man complete. That's Jacobs. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. A final shot before break. Jones. 
That's caught by Walter out left side. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Well, everyone's eager to resume play here in this week two contest. So we push right through halftime and back at it for the start of quarter three. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. A 10 point game, 17-7 to score as we get back to it on EA Sports. Britton Covey going to bring it out of his end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. First and 10 and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And that closed up quickly there as he gets it up only to about the 17. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They'll look to throw. Being chased out left. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. Give him nine yards on the scramble there, but it does leave him still a few inches shy with third down looming. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Franklin. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Now back to throw. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he's brought down. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. They're going to look to throw. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. And award that sack to Boogie Basher. He's known for his legs and his fancy footwork, but he's not getting much of a chance to use it here. The defense continued to hold the upper hand by bringing him down on that play. Now a deep blow there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They try to get it all back on that one, weren't able to do so. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Throw left side complete. That's Franklin. So the completion good for just three. And that's going to bring up second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Second down. Here's Hurts. He finds his man complete. That's Franklin. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Again, he'll drop to throw. Open, man, he's got him. That's Smith for the Philadelphia touchdown. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Eagles take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military. And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed, and I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. 
So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Elliott good with a PAT, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. They had only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Once again, it's Jacobs. Wiggles free. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Get out a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Throwing Jones. A quick throw there is incomplete. At this point in the game, in the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. Well, this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. It'll be a 41-yard punt, give them five on the return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. Well, this offense, this team, they are rolling right now, Charles. They've scored on three straight possessions. You look at the scoreboard, and they pretty much right now got this thing on cruise control. Yeah, and this is that time of game where you and I have to be prepared, right? Isn't this kind of like that empty the bucket time where you have to go into your blowout material and make sure we have some different things? That's what we're staring at right now, the way this one is going. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that one, no gain, so they're left with still 10 to go on third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Smith, and he will get him down a couple yards shy of the first down marker. A nice tackle coming up from his free safety spot. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. He's got his target. That's complete, and he is going to have an Eagles first down as he's brought to the ground after a gain of seven, five more than he needed on fourth and two. Flush to his right. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. The end result, 21 yards. A little bit of a breakdown there defensively, and the RPO turns into a big chunk play. And when you think about running offense, the word comes to mind, assignment, right? Because you have to carry those out. But you have to play assignment football and defense, too, against a team that runs these RPOs because everyone has to be in the right place. Who's got the quarterback? Who's got the running back? Who's covering the receivers? This will work quite well on that play. Give him a little extra credit there. His head was cool as the play broke down. Didn't force a throw, and in the end, got to show off his athleticism with a nice game to bring up a new set of downs. It'll be first and goal when we come back. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's the Eagles in possession of the football and leading this one as we get ready to start the final quarter. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. 
55 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is... And they're into the end zone, but it's not verified yet. Hold on, there is a flag down. Illegal block in the back. Offense. Offense. So reverse the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always tough to watch right, 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 when they right. score and you see the excitement and then when they realize those points aren't going to count? Can they get it back together and find their way back to the end zone? And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. Call it a loss of two there on the play. And now we've got a third and goal situation. Back to throw. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. It'll be a gain of nine, and that will bring up an interesting decision here on fourth and goal. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but... They'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know. If you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. The possession switching back to the New York Giants. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Now Jones. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. To throw again on second down. Jones. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Jones to throw on third down. He finds his man complete. That's Jacobs. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. Trying to get it to Thomas, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Johnson. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. Well, I guess an interception at this point on fourth down is just as bad as an incomplete pass. Either way, the ball goes over to the other side. Yeah, it's a tough spot to be in this late in the game, and there's not a whole lot he could do there. And he winds up giving the ball away. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Spinning past him. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. To throw on second and six, Hurts. Touchdown! Dallas Goddard, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles are on their way to a 2-0 start. So I tell you what, Charles, I know that you don't put a ton of stock into power rankings and things of that nature, but another score here and two weeks into the season, this is maybe the most impressive team in the NFL. Would you agree? Well, they've certainly sold me as they've sold you, and I agree with you. No question about it. They won easily last week. They're on their way to another lopsided victory here. They're definitely a team to be reckoned with, and they are serving notice to the rest of the league.
And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. And now out come the Giants. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they got to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 10 yards, good for a giant first down. Looking to throw, Jones, and Thomas has it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Ten more there and another first down. Back to throw again. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Here's second and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. Another good completion on the drive as the Giants have a first down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. They'll look to throw again. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Back to throw. Jones. He finds his man complete. That's Jacobs. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. Another good completion on the drive as the Giants have a first down. That's another New York Giants. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. Offense who praise an offense for their variety and being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Uh, defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game, and that was a big talk both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a fourth down situation with things not looking particularly rosy. Suckup's kick is good, and that will cut the lead down to three scores at 24. Well, in the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been outplayed all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself respectable. And that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. 
And the Eagles hands team able to cover it up. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Looking like they're well on their way to a 2-0 start. All smiles right now on that sideline, isn't it? As well there should be. It's hard to win a game in the NFL. We hear it all the time. We know that it's difficult. But guess who's smiling? But inside is thinking 24-hour rule because we're going to have to play again next week. Boss man. Oh, without a doubt. The head coach, <laughs> he wants them to feel good, but at the same time, find a way to keep improving. Elliott good on the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. Well, CD, it's all window dressing at this point. I mean, the best they can do is in the game with a nice drive to maybe build some momentum to move forward into their next contest. Yeah, with how lopsided this game has been, even one score might not do a lot of cosmetic good on the scoreboard, partner, because it's just about looking forward at this point. Get a touchdown here, give yourself some positive momentum and reps to focus on when you get back to practice in the next couple of days. To try again after the sack. Jones, nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And now this ball picked up by the offense. But here in the final two minutes of the game, this will be blown dead. Only the fumbler can advance the football. So this will go back to the spot of the fumble itself. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. Things are just going from bad to worse now. It's a safety that does him in here. And that is one frustrated offensive unit. They can't get out from under their own shadow right now. I mean, I know this is the NFL, but could you imagine a college crowd right now? Imagine what they'd be doing. <laughs> they'd be chanting, start the bus, because they think this one is over. And remember, following the safety, you give the football up as well, and they free kick it from the 20 now. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Well, they don't need to score here, that's for sure. They could just kneel it. They've got the huge lead late fourth quarter, but uh, we'll see how they're feeling, Charles. Yeah, we all know people out there who like to use every second of the clock, no matter what the score. And we know they don't need the points. They've scored in abundance already. Let's find out how they want to finish this ball game. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on all those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one. Huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish.